This is a video of an arterial embolization of the right lobe of the liver. The patient has multiple liver metastases from a neuroendocrine tumor in the pancreas. The metastatic tumors are visible on a CT scan taken before the embolization. The catheter is inserted into the hepatic artery via the femoral artery. The radiologist begins by administering local anesthesia. The needle is placed over the puncture point and the placement is checked with fluoroscopy. Local anesthesia is administered to the area around the puncture point. The femoral artery is punctured using Seldinger's technique. The artery is punctured at the level of the head of the humerus. A guide wire is inserted through the needle. The needle is removed and an introducer is inserted into the artery over the guide wire. A catheter is inserted over the guide wire and moved up to the liver, guided by fluoroscopy. The radiologist injects contrast fluid in the catheter to visualize the hepatic artery. A series of angiograms with intra-arterial contrast is taken for more exact visualization and mapping. Here, the catheter has reached the periphery of the hepatic artery, and the radiologist chooses to go deeper into the segment arteries with a microcatheter. A microcatheter is inserted into the catheter. The embolization agent will be placed through this. 150 to 250 micron polyvinyl alcohol particles are used. These are mixed in contrast fluid before injection. The particles are injected guided by fluoroscopy. The microcatheter is gradually pulled out as the arteries become blocked. Finally, the results are checked with angiography. The catheter and introducer are removed and the puncture wound in the groin is closed. This CT scan, taken six months after embolization, shows that the metastatic tumors in the right lobe have significantly decreased in size. In the left lobe, which was not embolized, the tumor volume has increased.